Malaysia Booker, a 23 year old transgender woman whose attack in April made national headlines, was found shot to death in Dallas on Sunday morning. Now, Booker initially made the news after video surfaced of her being beaten by four men shouting homophobic slurs after a traffic incident. 29 year old Edward Thomas was arrested after he was identified for his role in the beating. According to reports, he was offered $200 to attack her. The assault didn't stop until a group of women intervened and dragged Booker to safety. Now, the investigation into the murder is ongoing, and at this point, there's no proof the two incidents are related. But when you think about it, if the violence is indeed unrelated, it actually makes a bad story even worse. According to the Human Rights Campaign in 2018, there are at least 26 deaths of transgender people in the United States due to fatal violence. Most of these victims were black transgender women. Since 2013, 128 transgender people have been victims of fatal violence, with 80% of them being people of color. This has to stop, and so too does the apathy. As a group, we can't be up in arms when straight black people are murdered and then turn a blind eye when it happens in the LGBTQ community. How can we expect others to value our lives and experiences if we don't value each other?